It all started in a 2000 block of Center Avenue in the Hill District in the mid-1960s. Back then, a community organization called Freedom House Enterprises was fixed on improving the quality of life for black residents in the neighborhood. That included medical care. If this organization can deliver food to the residents, why can't they deliver medical care? Because you couldn't get a cab into the hill. Obviously, no other ambulance service existed to that level other than a funeral home. Around the same time, a physician and anesthesiologist named Peter Saffer arrived in Pittsburgh and wanted to advance ambulatory care. Saffer invented the life-saving procedure known as CPR. Dr. Saffer's goal was to get pre-hospital care out into the streets before uh, anyone ever thought about that. He, it was his vision that, and he proved that if you get care to that person before they get to the emergency room, you improve their chances of survival. Saffer and the Freedom House organization became united in that vision to form the Freedom House Ambulance Service in 1967. They took 25 African-American men and placed them into a training program. And it was so intense, it consisted of anatomy and physiology. They spent time in the intensive care unit. They spent time in the emergency rooms. John Moon relishes the legacy and history. He joined the Freedom House Ambulance Service in 1972. Freedom House would soon be recognized as the first ambulance service of its kind in the United States, the early standard bearer for how paramedic services operate today. A display honors the legacy of the Freedom House on the first floor of the city county building at the start of Black History Month. A lot of people think, oh, is this, this was the first black EMS. They said, no, this is the first in the nation. Made up of Hill District residents, overlooked in many ways. Who were oftentimes had a record, a criminal record, or maybe didn't have a high school education and had been deemed sort of unemployable uh, by society standards. And they were able to come in in the back of an ambulance and find purpose. 56 years after the Freedom House Ambulance Service was founded, the city of Pittsburgh appointed a woman as its first African-American EMS chief. She is Amira Gilchrist, who says her position is a tribute to the Freedom House legacy. The fact that these supposed unemployable African-Americans started something that revolutionized pre-hospital care. I want to carry on that legacy. It, it's just very important for the word to continue to get out. 